going to solve the skateboard question that uh, the skateboard question from the code vita 2018 basically question says that we need to find uh, a path for the block f from the top topmost row and the leftmost column uh, we need to check each and every block in the topmost row and the leftmost column that if there is any path available to reach till the block f uh, there may be more than one path available but we are not concerned with that we only need to uh, know if there is a path available the block is safe if we reach uh, if we reach the uh, drop blocks d uh, we won't be able to move any further because it's a drop square and uh, the the path is not correct if we reach the d block so the output will be the total number of safe box uh, boxes available in topmost row and the leftmost column okay so the input format will be we are going to input the size of the square matrix and uh, then the data of the square matrix now moving on to the code uh, the code says first of all i have taken some of the variables to to save save things like the cnt array for storing the number of paths and arr for the data array okay and uh, that's it so what we are doing here is uh, first of all we are taking the in uh, uh, are initializing the matrix by the size and then we are taking the input tokenizing and then storing the data into the arr matrix okay so i also lower case the input because i have compared everything to the lower case in the in my code you will see it later okay so next uh, first of all i am checking the row actually is the column okay people we don't mind that okay we are checking the column now if in the first block if we get an s i have a particular function dealing for dealing with s a particular function for dealing with east a particular function for dealing with west and a particular function for dealing with north so we call that function and after that uh, we are done with the uh, row we, uh, we are done with the column then we check the row and we do the same so if we get an s what we do is increment the b coordinate of the array the row position will increase and the column position will stay as it is for south and if we get an s in the next call in the next block uh, what we do is uh, concatenate a plus in the string of for the h for the particular h position in the cnt array and then we return else we get d uh, we we return if not we will we could get an s e w or n and for that we we use the recursion of the function we recurse the function so there could be more than one possible ways okay uh, for each direction we will increment the c coordinate that is uh, we will increment the co column and the row will stay as it is for for west we will decrement the c coordinate that is the column will move one less and for north we'll decrement the b coordinate that is we'll move upwards uh, one row less okay so this is all we are doing in the code i'll make sure that uh, you get this code on the youtube let's go to the output okay we are running this program now let take the input 5 and matrix data pretty fast okay 4 again we'll try for other set of inputs so let it let us take it 6 and the matrix data okay 
and here we get the output so that's it friends